Hello there, this is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. It is Friday, October the 15th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, Virgo? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Virgo out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for Virgo. Spirit. First card out. The judgment. The judgment. This is positive karma. I don't know what else to say on that since it's only the first card. What is crossing this? Four of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is my party card. This is a rehearsal for a wedding, reversal for a hand fasting, increase in the level of commitment in a relationship. This is the 1111 card. What is consciously known? Eight of Cups. Cups are water energy. Can't spicy Scorpio. This talks about walking away from something that no longer serves you. See, she's got a uh, crown of skulls. Beautiful purple flowers. Looks like they're crying. Walking away from something that no longer serves you. Unconscious. The moon. This is Pisces energy. The moon talks about secrets, deceptions, masks being worn, and the truth coming to the surface. Recent past, the high priestess. High priestess. Um, she is divine feminine. She's independent. She sits in her throne. She sits in her power. Um, she is empathic, she's intuitive, she knows how to figure people out. She's got a scepter, candles, a book, in some decks she has tarot cards, a black cat. The High Priestess is that kind of energy. Near future, the strength. This is Leo energy, this talks about taming the beast inside, talks about lust, Talks about having the strength to get through things that are challenging in your life. Where do you find yourself? Ten cups. Ultimate abundance in love. Ten cups. This is the happy family. This is the house. This is the property. Ultimate abundance in love. Beautiful. I love it. I love this blue. Blue is pretty. Cups are water energy. Can't spicy Scorpio. External influences. Two of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This talks about there being a fork in the road and you need to choose a path. There's often a globe in this card, which means you may have to travel for work or you may have to travel to see the person that you are interested in. Hopes and or fears. Ace of Swords. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ace of Swords is new, honest, clear communication. Overall outcome. The Justice. This is Libra energy. Um, you may be involved in a court case. Child support, divorce, you'll come out uh, on top, um, there are the Libra scales right here. Sometimes this person is blindfolded because justice is blind. You have a scythe, which means you might have to cut something or someone out of your life. The justice. Bottom of the deck, the magician. The magician, the great manifester. There's a... Hand with an eye, 
looks like a wand, a W on top. There's a pitcher, there's swords, there's candles. He's got a wand, crystal ball, chalices, potions, plants. You could be manifesting cups for love, wands for passion, pentacles for money, swords for honest, clear communication. What are you manifesting? Seven of Cups, options in love. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This talks about having options. You have options in love. The Hangman. The hangman talks about meditation, spirituality, being caught between a rock and a hard place, dark night of the soul, and sometimes you need to look at things from a different perspective in order to figure them out. Oh, soulmates, true love. Two of cups. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I love this two of cups, I love it. They got hearts for eyes, upside down heart for nose. The water in his cup is pouring into her cup. What a beautiful image. I love. And their beautiful bright red hearts are shining through their rib cage. Soulmates. Soulmates. Ultimate abundance and love. True loves. Divine counterparts. Six of cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Six of cups talks about friendship, puppy love, nostalgia. Looking back to a time when things were s sweeter, better, just um, don't look at the past through rose-colored glasses. We had positive karma, increase in the level of commitment, walking away from something that no longer serves, the high priestess, the strength, ultimate abundance in love, choosing a path, New honest, clear communication, the justice, the magician, options in love, the hangman, soulmates, nostalgia, and we had secrets, deceptions. Let us love cards. You deserve love. You are lovable. Separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Maybe because of travel. Or maybe you haven't met your true love yet. Bottom of the deck, release your ex. Time has come to clear your energy. It must be past. You deserve love. Increase in level of commitment. High priestess. Ultimate abundance in love. Honest, clear communication. The great manifester. Sometimes Doreen just messes things up, eh? And soulmates, soulmates, and you are lovable. This X stuff has to be passed. All right, have a great evening, Virgo. I will talk to you soon. This is Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilson Tarot. Bye for now.